Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video. I, I hope that you guys are all doing well. Uh, today's episode comes in the form of another journals episode. And uh, these are my favorite uh, types of episodes or types of videos to make. Uh, but because they're my favorite, they're also some of my most challenging. Um, oftentimes I want to just load them with all kinds of personal journal entries. Uh, so I, what I've decided to do is I'm going to keep it very, very simple. Uh, for this particular outing, I went out on the last day of 2021. Um, I'm also going to share with you a few images from two days prior to the last day of the year. Um, and, uh, and you know, I had so many awarenesses, so many epiphanies. It, you know, it was one of those outings that I'm going to remember on a very personal level. Um, I had a lot to journal about. Uh, but in order, you know, for the sake of, you know, keeping it, you know, simple and not overcomplicated or too like you know profound uh, I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna play uh, three segments for you uh, of b-roll and photographs that I made with the Fuji XE4 and the 27 millimeter 2.8 every single thing that you see in today's uh, episode was shot with the Fuji XE4 and the 27 millimeter 2.8 lens including the talking parts uh, yeah, and then at the very end of uh, today's episode, um, I'm going to journal uh, one thought, and I will share that with you as well. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share this first segment. These are all of the black and white images from two days uh, prior to New Year's Eve, and then leading all the way into the last day of 2021. Okay, I hope you enjoy. <music> Okay, so um, lately I have been um, working a lot. I've been kind of in survival mode, um, trying to make, you know, rent and, you know, surviving. And so uh, I've been driving for a company called Lyft. For those of you that are in Europe, Lyft is Uber's main competitor here in the States. It's a ride sharing service. So I've been driving for Lyft and uh, oftentimes eight to 10, sometimes even 12 hours. And uh, because of this, I haven't really had a chance to go out and do personal work. And um, in addition to that, the entire month of December, it rained pretty much every single day uh, here in Los Angeles. In two days uh, prior to New Year's Eve, uh, you know, December 2021, uh, the sun came out. And so I decided that rather than driving, that I would go out and that I would finally get a chance to uh, shoot with the XE4. The XE4 was a birthday present. My birthday was in November. My sister gave me this camera and I've been wanting to shoot with it. Um, so I paired it up with my trusty old uh, 27 millimeter 2.8 lens, which is uh, not the second version, but the first one. You guys have seen some of the images that I've shot with this lens on my XE3 uh, in previous episodes. And so I decided that on this uh, sunny day, I would go to the Griffith Observatory. And I went out there um, and I was really excited because this was my first time, you know, out, uh, you know, uh, just doing the things that I love to do the most. But 
I was really struggling to make images, mainly because I was grappling with the notion of being irresponsible. Um, I would take a picture and then I'd have this like inner dialogue or maybe this inner conflict, I guess is probably a better description. Uh, and I, I would think to myself, like, what am I doing? Why am I out here? Like, um, you know, is it responsible? I think that I'm losing money. The end of the month is coming up. Is this going to affect my ability to pay rent? And so having that, that like inner conflict uh, kept me from getting into the zone. And so, you know, I was there for about an hour and um, I decided that I was just going to leave and I went over to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I went there because usually it's pretty busy there and I figured maybe that would help me kind of get into the zone. I <laughs> didn't really get into the zone, but at least the inner conflict that I was struggling with uh, subsided a little bit or at least enough uh, for me to stay there for another 45 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the images from that 45-minute uh, photo walk on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, yeah, here they are. All right, so um, as soon as I finished uh, taking those images, I remember feeling a mix of feelings. On one hand, I was uh, really excited and happy that I got to go out. But on the other hand, I was a little stressed out about money. I was a little bit worried. And I felt like the day was a total and complete bust. And the unhealthy part of me, um, I do this a lot. I, I have these conversations with myself. The uh, unhealthy part of me was like, you know, um, you kind of wasted the day. You came out and, you know, you didn't make money. You lost money and uh, and you didn't really get anything even worth like sharing or anything valuable out of today. Then the healthier part of me, and the one that, you know, the part of me that I've been nurturing lately uh, stepped in and was like, whoa, whoa, dude, stop. Uh, you got to be a little bit more kind to yourself. This is the first time. Uh, in months, in at least a good five months since you've been out. Uh, and so this is part of the process. Number two, you haven't even seen the images. And number three, um, let's, let's choose to look at it this way. Let's choose to look at it like this. Uh, because today was a complete and total bust, what it means is that I get to come out again and try again. And so that was the approach that I uh, decided to go with. And uh, I got in my car, went home. The following day it rained and I drove. Uh, but then Friday, the last day of 2021, I went out to the Hollywood Walk of Fame again. And on this particular day, I really did feel like I was able to get into the zone. And here are the images from the last day of 2021.
this is the part of uh, today's episode where I am going to journal uh, some thoughts. And um, and so here are my journal entries uh, for today. Um, earlier, I mentioned that on this particular day, I managed to get into the zone. And when I say that I got into the zone, I don't mean that I made great photographs. What I mean is that I got to a place where I could shoot from feeling versus like versus calculating um, what I wanted to get. So let me let me see if I can explain what I mean by this. So typically, my ideal approach for going out uh, and making these photographs is to um, not really think. I don't I don't predetermine what it is that I'm trying to shoot. So I don't tell myself today I am going to uh, try and shoot uh, or make photographs of people holding hands or people kissing or uh, I'm going to go out and look for like harsh shadows and really bright highlights. Um, every once in a while I have practice sessions and that's a completely different approach. But for the most part, what I tell myself is uh, I'm going to go out and I am going to photograph anything that I notice. So anytime that I get that feeling where I go, huh, look at that, then my rule is I photograph it. Unless one, it's physically not possible or two, if it's disrespectful or if it's going to make somebody feel uncomfortable. Those are my rules. And, um, and that's easier said than done. Um, you know, whenever there's that inner <laughs> dialogue, like I had two days prior, but on this particular day, um, I started with that inner dialogue, but the healthy part of me once again kicked in and I was just like, you know, there were some images that I made and, <laughs> you know, part of me was like, why are you going to photograph that? And then I would say, you know what? Stop. You're obviously noticing it for a reason. Just photograph. And that's what I did. A couple of months ago, I decided that I was going to transition from a traditional way of living from the, your typical nine to five, you know, American dream type of uh, like way of living to a type of living where I could live off of creativity, where I could, I don't know, live a little bit more on my terms. I want to thrive and not just live. And I definitely don't want to live to work. So that's something I've been searching for, you know, different alternatives. I have been reading books and educating myself on finances and um, looking for people who can serve as an example for people who have the characteristics or the type of life that I am trying to achieve for myself. I had a, this interesting awareness when I looked at the photographs because I didn't actually look at these photographs for at least another two weeks. And I started to edit them and uh, I started to put this video together. And as I was doing it, I realized how powerful and what a tangible influence my subconscious has on the choices that I make. When I was out there, I was not thinking. That's the reason why I go out and shoot because I have a hyperactive mind and I go out there to calm <laughs> that hyperactive thinking. It's like a form of meditation. And so I wasn't thinking, uh, I didn't have a theme in mind, but as I was looking at the images from today's episode, uh, I noticed that subconsciously I was looking and recognizing either where I'm at now or what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm going to give you some examples so that this makes sense. Uh, the first thing is, uh, you may notice that a lot of the images in today's episode seem a little vintagey, maybe degraded. That did not happen on purpose. I was just editing and that's just kind of what, what came out. And I believe that a lot of that has to do uh, with my subconscious because I haven't been out doing creative work. I've been watching videos on photographers from the 80s, from the 70s, from the 90s so that I could be connected to creativity through them. And because I've been looking at certain color palettes, I noticed once I edited the photographs that those color palettes were present in the photographs that I made. In fact, in some cases, um, I believe, uh, and once again, it's, it wasn't like a, a conscientious choice, but I believe that some of the photographs that I shared with you in today's episode, I photographed just because I was attracted to the color palette. That's something that I don't think I've ever done. I've never photographed something because of its color. But more importantly, the biggest awareness came when I started to recognize my inner struggle in the photographs consistently. As I was reviewing the images, I started to notice this common thread of people trying to live their lives, trying to earn a living 
on their own terms in non-traditional ways, maybe through an activity that they feel they're good at, that they like, um, or maybe just in a way where they want to kind of be rebellious and give the middle finger to the traditional way of living. But I started to see all of these patterns and it made me think um, that I have to be very vigilant as to what I allow into my subconscious. And then I was journaling and I, you know, I was writing and the idea came into my mind that like the stories I tell myself can influence my decisions even when I don't know that I'm making them, that maybe I could use that to my advantage. Yeah, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I want to use my subconscious and its effect on my decision making process in a more intentional way. And I don't know if that'll work or not, but that is my journal entry for today. We're pretty much done with today's episode. Um, there were a few more images that I was going to share in today's segments, uh, but I didn't put them in those segments because I didn't really feel it was respectful. I do want to mention one more thing, and with that, we're going to finish up. Um, on the last day of 2021, I did see this crowd forming on the Walk of Fame, and I walked over to see what was happening, and I learned that Betty White had passed away on that particular day. I do want to take a moment to say, you know, rest in peace and my condolences. Um, I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot. I'm not a big Hollywood person. I don't really know a lot about actors and actresses. But I do know that Betty White um, broke a lot of stigmas. And just that alone uh, is enough to earn my respect. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Um, that's it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I hope that you are all doing well and that you're all thriving. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening. And I will see you uh, in the next episode. Take care.